this assembly application, FANUC LRMate 200IC robots are used to assist in PZT assembly. The housing assembly seen here consists of a manually loaded in-feed slide that introduces parts to the system. A Cognex camera reads a barcode on the housing to identify the part. Slide-mounted Kiant sensors advance toward the part to inspect the terminals on the housing. If the part passes the inspection, it is moved by a FANUC LRMate 200IC robot to an Atomflow plasma etching device. The part is then taken to an assembly slide where a completed part is removed and the new part is placed. The assembly slide moves to slide-mounted gripper that actuates into the part and locates it so a clamp can hold it into place. The assembly slide then moves to an epoxy dispensing station that dispenses a pre-assembly shot of epoxy. The assembly slide then moves to the load position where a FANUC LRMate 200IC robot loads the completed PZT into the housing. The location of the PZT within the housing is then inspected by a Cognix camera for location. The assembly slide moves back to the epoxy dispensing station to get a final shot of epoxy to fill the PZT cavity. The housing is unclamped and the robot unloads the completed part to an outfeed slide if all inspections pass or the housing is moved to a reject location. A PZT is then retrieved by a slide-mounted gripper that advances in, grips a part, and retracts to a slide-mounted vacuum. The vacuum slide retrieves the part from the gripper and delivers it to the soldering station. An automatic wire feeder feeds a wire to a gripper that positions it on the PZT. A rotary gripper flips the PZT and a new wire is positioned. The second wire is welded and the soldered PZT is then delivered to a FANUC LRMate 200IC robot that inspects the solder joint height with Kian sensors and the solder radius with a Cognex camera. The LRMate flips the part with a slide-mounted vacuum and inspects the other side of the PZT. A passing part is delivered to a PZT assembly slide where a completed part is removed and the new part is placed. The PZT assembly slide is moved to an AccuPlace foam applicator and is moved to the Cognex camera to inspect the foam applicator positioning on the PZT. A passing part will be moved into the wire bending station that will bend the leads of the PZT to a specified geometry. Upon completion, the part is removed by an LRMate 200IC robot and brought to a Cognex camera to inspect the lead geometry. Passing parts are placed in the housing on the housing assembly slide and failed parts are brought to a reject area. For more information on Compass Automation, please visit www.compass-automation.com.